afternoon, everyone. Uh, see you again. This is Tina, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you some hands on experience on the bean auto wiring. So let's start. I already have the project ready. Uh, okay, and uh, I have this uh, configuration, but I didn't do anything, okay. And in the main, I just have the first statement, which is start our application based on this configuration. In the POM, I just have a one dependency. Okay, that's it. So uh, let's create uh, some class to show you the auto wiring. Okay, S suppose now I have a customer service and uh, I also have another class which is the customer deal and uh, our customer service depends on customer deal okay for now i just uh, have a getter okay because i want to show you if no setter what's gonna happen and then i'm gonna go back to our main what's gonna do here is uh, Get the customer service, then retrieve the custom deal. Okay, customer service, customer service equals context dot get a bin, right? And here I will using customer service. Remember, remember this name because that's what we are looking for. Um, customer service dot class, right? And then system out customer service dot get a customer deal. If it has a bin, then you're gonna have something with uh, the package dot customer deal at then address right value. And otherwise, you will see now if then they have the bin injected successful, right? Next one, yes, yeah, so here we will do the configuration. Okay, bin id equals customer service. And the class, okay, sng region dot four types, okay, uh, oh, four types dot custom service, okay, and I'm gonna define an admin ID is uh, customer uh, deal, deal, DAO class is gen dot four types and dot customer deal. If we do like a configure like this way, then when we run, you will get none. The reason for that is when we using XML manually, okay, to uh, create the beans like this way, not using the component scan. By default, the auto wiring is no, which means Spring won't do any auto wiring for you. And uh, when we create the bin like this, it's gonna call the default constructor, which is the constructor without the arguments. And if we want to do the auto wiring, you can using the first one, let me show you is by name, okay? By name means spring, we are trying to find, okay? Okay, this is the uh, dependency, it is a dependency, right? This is the name of the dependency we want. He was trying to find in the bin factory, do we have a bin which named customer deal? And here we have a customer deal. Okay, this bin is named customer deal in the bin factory. Then it will call the set method to set the value for you. And uh, since we don't have a set method here, when we run, you still get a null. First, initialize with the default constructor and call the set method to set. But uh, since we don't have set method, that doesn't work. Now, let me have a set method. And set. Uh, let me also add the default constructor so you can see the actual uh, uh, processing okay if you're still not familiar with the bin creation uh, a life cycle 
the stages you should take a look at my previous video i have that uh, default constructor okay. then let's run this time we're gonna see the values okay do i call default constructor okay call this one to extension they can since here you say auto wire by name and you are trying to call setter to set it because you find one but if not my bin name doesn't match this property name right then it won't work you will see the none again okay you the call constructor you will see none because you cannot find the bin which name the customer DAO okay this is by name by type by type means doesn't care about the bin name okay it cares about in my customer service I have a dependency okay this dependency I care about the type of the dependency the type is a customer DAO then he is trying to look in the bin factory do I have a type uh, do I have a bin which type is a customer DAO yes I have okay and uh, he, the name don't care so if I using by type previously by name is now right when I using by type it also works okay you call the default constructor call the setter then inject but there's a problem if like this way by type I have a more than one bin with the same type right this is the same type but i have more than one bin in this case intellij is already smart give you some warning here but uh, you can still run when we run we will get a wrong time exception which is uh, like uh, i expect one you give me two i don't know which one to choose okay see here no qualified bin qualifying bin for the type expect a single match bin but i found the two okay so this time doesn't work even though you you change this one to be customer deal the name matches this one doesn't work because you are using a type okay so for type you are only allowed to has a one okay uh, one if more than one you're gonna have uh, exception and uh, if no then you're gonna have uh, none Okay, you want to get a runtime exception. You're gonna just get a none, okay? Which means cannot inject. This is the third way, and the last one is a constructor. Okay, constructor. Uh, for this constructor is very similar using by type. But uh, if we can just change to constructor and our customer service is set like this one, you we will still see now because we don't have a customized constructor to inject the customer DAO, right? Let's run. It was still called the default one. See, it was still called default and I give now because we don't have a customized constructor. And now let's create a customized constructor. Uh, this one I'm using customized constructor, okay, like this way. And for this case, and the spring, we are using this constructor to do the dependency injection or to do the auto wiring for us. And for the customer DL, by default, gonna using by type. See here, if I change this one to be customer DL, okay, this name doesn't match this name right and when we run it's gonna work it will call our customized constructor then do the dependency injection for us this is uh, very similar to the type it's according to this type and now if I have more than one Two. okay this name this name doesn't match here right and uh, 
let's run here you are gonna have a, a same exception e no exception oh this is a little bit different from ah uh, um constructor if you only has one bin it's gonna use it by type but if you have more than one then uh interestingly it cannot find one so it didn't throw any exception but if i let this name okay to be the same as this name let's see if it uh, works okay then suppose we have multiple right we have multiple then it's gonna according to this name to do the dependency injection and uh, let's make it clear okay cast see it's encoding this name or according this name i'm gonna using this one uh, let's see if this one works uh, last time when i tested I have uh, nothing shows okay just to kind of do the dependency injection for us because cannot find the bin but now if i change this name to be this one here even though i have two bins this one should be injected successfully too many scenarios see it's gonna inject successfully okay so uh when we use the constructor um this type by default it's gonna using what by default, it's gonna using um, by type according to your type. It doesn't care about the ID, which is a bin name. But if we have multiple, then you are trying to using the name to do the binding. The name matches to this one. And if you cannot find it, doesn't throw the exception. It just give uh, none. Okay. So that's it for the four types of the uh, Spring Bean auto wiring. And uh, next video, I'm gonna show you how to using the auto wild this annotation. Okay, probably that one you are be more interested in, and uh, because that's what we normally do, not like this way. But it's good to know we have uh, that. Uh, sorry, we have the different types. Okay, this one gonna help you to understand. We have uh, four types of the bin auto wiring. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.